Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about thyme leaf expression language. Okay, so I believe you guys know what is thyme leaf. Thyme leaf is a Java library. It is a template engine that we use to design user interfaces. All right, guys. So in this video, we'll talk about the types of the expression languages provided by thyme leaf. We'll look at the syntax, right? So if you look at it here, the very first one is dollar and then curly braces. So this one is a variable expression, time leaf variable expressions. You might have seen while working on JSP, JSF or Spring, right? But apart from variable expression, time leaf also provides other expression languages as well. For example, selection expressions, okay? And the syntax is asterisk sign or a star and then curly braces. We use this particular syntax or selection expression while reading the attributes from an object okay then we have message expression the syntax goes hash shine and then curly braces we use this particular expression while reading the dot properties file for example messages dot properties okay and the next one is link or url expression so the syntax is at the rate sign and then curly braces okay so and the last one is fragment expression syntax is tilde sign and then curly braces all right guys so we'll talk about each one in the coming videos i'll give you a demo as well right but in this video we'll focus on time leaf variable expression and the syntax is here dollar sign and then curly braces all right guys so let's go and create a new project and let's have a look at the demo all right guys here we are let's go and create a new project spring boot starter project and then let's call it time leaf expression okay Let's go next and choose the dependencies. We are going to make use of a Spring Web and Time Leaf. Click on next and click on finish. Now guys, as part of this demo, we are going to take the example of a novel. So novel will have a title, published date, genre, number of pages, price and author. So author will have its own information like first name, last name, city, zip code, country and all. All right guys, let's go to the project. Let's go and create a controller first. So we are going to create a controller. Let's change the package to controller and let's call it index controller, index controller. Okay, so this is just a class. Let's use the at the rate controller annotation. Okay, and now let's go and add a function here. Let's call it index space and I will return a string. Let's call it index. So what is index? index is my view name this is the name of my html page we don't have it yet but let's go and create now so i'm going to resources and let's go to templates so i'm going to create index.html html page inside templates folder okay index let's go and add some text here index page i'll simply go and add an h1 here anchor tag So when I click on this one, I want to go to the novel page, variable expression, XPS. simple, nothing much complex. Now wait, so this is all good. Let's go and add a get mapping here, get mapping on what, get mapping on root. Okay, so on root, I want to load the index space. All right, now let's go and start our application. All right, here it says the application is started. Let's go to the browser and open a new tab and type localhost colon 8080. Guys, what do you see? H1 take and this was supposed to be a link, but it seems something went wrong. Let's go and check it out. AH reference. Sorry, I made a mistake here. It's A anchor tag and then H reference. Okay, cool. Now, guys, let's go and create a VO. We are going to create a VO value object and let's call it what let's go and get a first package and let's call it novel itself novel right now guys our novel will have private string it is going to have a title then we are going to store the date in string only publish date in teaser say number of pages i can have a double to keep the price and let's go and have the last attribute which is jenner okay let's go and create the getter setters first 
let's go and create a parameterized constructor let's go and create a default constructor cool so we are done with our view now guys so if you see here if i click on this link novel page but there should be a controller to handle this particular mapping right so let's go and create another controller let's call it novel controller only right? so we are going to call it novel controller okay right so let's go and add the controller annotation cool let's go and create a function public string let's call it novel page simple right and then return what i want to go to novel we need to add the get mapping as well right here get mapping on what get mapping on slash novel cool so this is good now but we don't have our novel page right so let's go to the templates folder let's go and create a new html page let's call it novel okay so this is my guys for now let's go and create h1 so welcome to novel page simple that's it for now let's go and verify our application let's quickly start stop all right so restarted localhost 8080 here is link novel page now if i go to this particular page what do you see welcome to novel page so this is our next screen okay now guys i want to display all the attributes like novel title novel publish date number of pages price general everything right so let's go and modify our novel.html i am going to add h2 couple of h2 right so this is a title and then i'll put few more here i'll simply repeat title what next one is published then i have pages and then we have price and then general cool right now guys as i told you in the video that time leaf is based on natural template what does it mean it means that to view the page you don't need a container or a web server what you can do is you can simply go to your html right click and open a web browser so you will see the look and feel of your page okay yeah as of now we haven't added any time leaf code right but we'll see how our page behaves after adding the time leaf attributes okay guys so guys our ui is ready right now it's time to add the time leaf attributes okay but before that we'll go to novel controller let's go and add a model here model and then model so if i import you can see here org dot spring framework dot ui okay now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an object of novel novel let's call it novel object new novel new novel but i'll go and choose the parameterized constructor okay now it's time to add some details so let's call it one indian girl so that is my novel name published date i don't remember exactly but let's go and put something 31st march number of pages say 280 price say 550.00 and genre it is a fiction novel cool right so our novel object is ready now we need to go and make use of model dot add attributes you guys know why do we use model right if you want to send something to your ui we use model attribute okay so this is cool we have our novel object ready now guys we have to make use of our novel object so that we can read the values okay now it's time to use the time leaf attributes so the attribute is time leaf th colon text equals to i'm going to add the syntax which is dollar sign and then curly braces novel object dot title so i believe you guys know what is novel object okay novel object is this one this particular if you change it to novel then you have to make use of novel on your screen i'm calling it novel object so i'm using novel object only right now if you see it says th is undefined attribute name why because this particular page is a html page it doesn't know anything about time leaf so let's go and add xml namespace colon th equals to https colon 
double slash www.thyme timeleaf.org. Now it's happy. Okay. Now guys, it's time to go and add the th colon text attribute for the other side as well, right? Dollar sign. I'll use novel object dot and this time I want to use the published date. Okay. And same for uh, th colon text equals to for pages dollar curly braces and then pages. Okay. We'll do same for price th colon text equals to dollar sign curly braces dot price and we'll do same for the last one which is our general equals to double cost curly braces dot general right guys we have added time leaf take and we are using time leaf variable expression right now guys if i go and refresh our page on the browser i don't see any difference even after adding time leaf tags i don't see any difference right so this is the beauty of time leaf even after adding the time time leaf attributes or time leaf tags you can open that ui directly on the browser you don't need to have a container or a web server all right guys now let's do one thing let's go and restart our application let me just go and restart our application all right so let's go to the browser let's go and refresh what do you see one indian girl published date number of pages price and gender cool right so guys this is how you can pass the data from your code from your code from your controller to ui right you can read the object value by using time leaf variable expression okay so here i can see that we have got the novel information what about the author where is the author right so let's go and create another view let's call it author author right so author will have what a string let's call it first name right and another string let's call it last name right what else do you want let's go and add city and country that's it i don't want to add more here enough for now and let's go and add we are going to create the getter setters for all the attributes we are going to create a parameterized constructor and we are also going to create a default constructor so this is cool okay now guys to make use of this author view we'll go to our novel.java class right and here we'll go and add one more attribute author of type author this is cool right but we have we are not using it right so let's go and change our parameterized constructor because we want to add author as well right so what i will do i'll go here let's go and regenerate the constructor by using all the fields this is cool let's go and create the getter setters for author as well okay nice let's go to novel controller now you will see an error message here why because we are missing the author okay so let's go and create a new object let's call it author object it will have author information new author and then i'm going to choose the parameterized constructor okay new author and then parameterized constructor okay it's easy to fill the details so first name uh, let's call it chatan bhagat city mumbai okay and then country we are going to india this is cool i'll copy author object and i'll pass it here in this particular novel constructor so this is cool we have created author object we have passed into the novel object and novel is part of our model attribute now guys we need to read the information right so we'll go back to our novel page here what i will do i will create a hr here a horizontal row right and let's go and add h1 here and let's call it what author information now here i'll take another h2 or say h3 this time right so say author name or whatever it is let's say first name okay guys so we are going to add author information like first name last name city and country right so we'll do same thing we are going to make use of what time leaf tag equals to variable expression dollar sign now guys here we are talking about the we'll take novel object 
dot I'll go here author dot author dot I want to read the first name okay let's do same for for last name same for city and country so I'll change this to last name I'll change it to city and this to country so guys what I'm doing here from novel object we are using the author object and then from author we are using the attributes first name last name city and country cool right now it's time to restart our application stop let's go and restart start it let's go to localhost 8080 click on this link what do you see now author information Chetan Bhagat first name last name city and country right guys so by using time leaf variable expression the syntax is here dollar sign then curly braces and then object and then attribute name so by using this particular syntax you can read the values of an object okay guys now guys if I go back to this particular HTML and if I refresh you see I still can see the layout the look and feel here okay even if if I go to the page I see that we have added the time leaf code to our screen right but still I can simply open this UI HTML page on the browser directly okay so like if I copy the path if I go and open it here I see the same thing so this is my static content okay welcome to novel page title published pages price author information right and this is the data coming from from the application right so this is the beauty of time leaf you can ask your designer to create the ui for you and then you can work on that ui to feed the data from your code all right guys so guys in this video we have discussed the time leaf variable expression okay in the next video we'll talk about selection expressions all right thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel